Most musicians assume their instrument sounds the way that it's supposed to sound right out of the case. But what if that assumption is quietly robbing your tone of depth, warmth, and even character? Now, there's a reason why a 1950s Martin or a well-worn cello even feels alive the moment that you pick it up and play it. And it's not magic, it's physics. The wood has changed, it's been moved, stressed, and sonically carved over time. But what if you could actually accelerate this process intentionally without playing it for hundreds of hours? Now that's exactly what we're gonna be exploring today. Not hype, not snake oil. Well, actually there is some snake oil involved, but we'll get to that a little bit later. But this is actually just a little well-known device that's used by luthiers, collectors, and players who care deeply about their tone, and they're tired of waiting for time to do the work. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Tone Traveler. And if tone really matters to you, what you're about to see might just change the way that you look at every instrument that you own. Hi, I'm Robert McClellan, and today we're diving into something rarely discussed outside of luthier circles, but critically important to the way that your instrument sounds and feels, the physical conditioning of the tone wood. Now, while the internet obsesses over pickups and string alloys and microphones and EQ curves, the true voice of your acoustic instrument is shaped by something more organic, how the wood itself vibrates over time. So here's the problem with this. A finely built acoustic instrument doesn't reach its full tone of potential until the wood actually has been played into maturity. And that usually takes years. And literally, I do mean years. Years of rehearsal rooms, stage time, studio hours. And just to be honest, most players simply don't have that kind of time, especially if they're professionals or even collectors trying to bring life back to a dormant instrument. So this is where the Tone Traveler enters the conversation. The Tone Traveler is a fully programmable acoustic actuator. You actually attach it directly to your instrument, whether it be guitar, cello, violin, or even arch tops, and it delivers carefully controlled vibrations into the body. Now, it's not a speaker, and it's definitely not sonic voodoo. It's a contact-based tool designed to simulate years of tonal exposure in a matter of days or even weeks. So instead of waiting for your instrument to open up through countless hours of playing, the Tone Traveler vibrates the instrument using a wide frequency spectrum that mimics what real music does to wood over time. The result isn't artificial, it's accelerated authenticity. Yes, skepticism is understandable. In fact, it's actually healthy, but there's real science at play here. Wood is a responsive material, and its fibers settle and shift when stimulated by vibration. That's why older instruments often have this unmistakable richness. They've been vibrated into responsiveness over decades. Now, what the Tone Traveler seeks to do is to bring that process into the modern workflow and accelerate the process. Now, I would say this as well. There's a perspective, especially among purists, that say tonal maturity must happen through years of relationship between player and instrument. And while that's a beautiful ideal, it's not always practical. And some players have studio deadlines. Some are performers with multiple instruments. And some are luthiers looking to send out a guitar that already sounds like it's lived a few lifetimes. This tool doesn't replace the player's journey, but it just prepares the instrument to meet the player with more responsiveness and character from day one. Now, in real world scenarios, luthiers use the Tone Traveler to precondition their builds before handing them off to clients. Collectors also apply it to revive the tone of instruments that have maybe set untouched for years and years. Likewise, musicians use it to coax warmth and resonance out of new guitars or to stabilize an instrument's tone before a big session. So let's do a quick unboxing of this so you can see exactly what comes with it.
All right, a quick explanation of my pseudoscientific approach here. I got a tone generator on my phone and played that into the XY configuration of these microphones and then set them to within one dB's difference of each other. The goal then was to adjust the gain level until they were identical. I got within a 0.7 dB difference. Now that the gain levels were set, I would tape the microphone stand to the floor so that it wouldn't move between take A, which was the original take, and take B, the 72 hour later take. I would also put X's on the floor so that when I came back to record, I would be standing in roughly the same position. And taking this a step farther, I went ahead and made sure that each of the microphones had a different color-coded XLR cable that went into the interface as well. And as another control method to minimize variance, I used the exact same pick to ensure that there were a limited amount of variations from recording A to recording B. Likewise, through the use of Velcro and zip ties, I ensured that the microphones themselves would not move from recording A to recording B as well. Needless to say, after running this thing for 24 hours a day, I found out that my dog really didn't care for this. So I ended up moving it into a closet in a spare bathroom. After someone who has used this for quite some time now on the acoustic guitar that I have, I can definitely say the Tone Traveler is not a gimmick or a trend. It's a precision tool for those who believe that tone is built and not just simply bought. And if your goal is to pull every ounce of voice out of your instrument, this might be the most overlooked step in the process. So the question isn't whether this is responsible for craftsmanship or touch. It's whether your instrument is currently capable of responding to either one as fully as it could. And I say that because if you care about tone and feel and the physical bond between the player and the instrument, this is a conversation worth having, and this is a tool worth knowing about.